I'm hearing that music. We have got to celebrate our graduates. Keep traditions alive every May 1st. Seniors at Chandler Preparatory Academy go to school wearing a shirt representing their college of choice. But obviously, they're not going to school today. School is closed, but officials are finding a way to still carry on this great tradition of celebrating what lies ahead for the class of 2020. Kim is live this morning with a great story. I've been looking forward to this all morning long. So how are they gonna acknowledge these grads? Good morning to you, Olivia. You know, this is a pretty cool way to uh, just pay tribute to these grads that put in tireless effort and work to uh, get to this point, their graduation. Thousands of students across the state of Arizona uh, should be graduating, should be uh, having ceremonies. Not the case because of the pandemic, but here at Chandler uh, Prep Academy, they are doing something a little bit different. I've got Michelle here. She's one of the deans of the students. Yep. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so we pan over and we see all of these cool cars. Tell yep. us a little bit about what you guys have organized. So this is our matriculation day parade. This is normally an event that we're able to do through the school day where the students kind of dress up in the colleges that they're going to be going to obviously this year didn't get to do that so we're trying to find a way to really be able to celebrate their accomplishments and the next step moving forward and this seemed like kind of our best option so. and so the thing that we've been seeing are parades but you guys have put a twist on them yeah no so what we had the kids do is we had them decorate their cars and where they're going to be going we're also going to be giving out some little gifts and stuffs to kind of thank them they also get their announcements that they're going to be able to send to their families like hey i actually made it here so. what do you want your students to know i I adore them. Um, I am so lucky that I have had the privilege to work here the past five years. We have an amazing group of students. Um, this class actually graduating was the first group that I started teaching. Um, I teach ninth and 10th grade and I taught them both years right in a row and I've just gotten really attached to them. They're wonderful students, they're wonderful people and I'm just so excited to see where they move forward but I'm really proud of them and I'm sorry this is the best we can do but I know they love it. You you guys are making lemonade out of lemon. We are doing our best here, yeah, definitely. All right, so I'm gonna have you switch gears. We'll sure. bring Emily in. Emily is one of our students, one of our graduating seniors. Yes. This is your cool little ride right yes, over here. Yes, it is. Okay, so tell us first of all, how are you feeling? I mean, you worked your way all to this point. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're still graduating, but you don't get that recognition like every other senior that's graduated. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Well. I was initially surprised at the fact that our senior year was taking a different turn, a different direction, but the way that the Chandler Press staff and all of the Great Heart schools have handled their appreciation for the seniors, exactly like this parade happening today, I think is the best that they can do and it makes all of us seniors feel definitely appreciated and we know that the efforts that would have happened at the end of our senior year are being made up now. All right, so you are going where? U of A? U of A, Wildcats! Nice. Okay, so you have your car all decorated. Who's yes. hanging out with you in your car right now? No one, actually. Oh, I had someone earlier, but they so stepped low. out of the car. They're Social also going to ASU, so. <laughs> oh, well, we can't have can't you guys in the same exactly, car. Exactly, yes. Okay, and then uh, what do you want to be when you grow up and you graduate? What's, yeah. what's your goal? So right now I'm an undecided major in the College of Engineering, but I just earned my Girl Scout Gold Award, focusing nice. on the environment and removing plastic bags out of the desert. So. My goal is to spend the first semester at U of A as an undecided major and then hopefully to become majoring in environmental engineering. And that's where I want to pursue my path. I love that. We Thank have you. another STEM girl right here. <laughs> okay, uh, final words of encouragement for mm -hmm. any little girls, any little boys that might yes. be watching and they're seeing you, you know, you did it, you made it through high school. Yes. What's your advice? I would say it only gets better. I think the way that I started off high school was not how I expected it, but moving through all the years, especially being with all my friends and such great teachers and staff and faculty, that it's been the best experience I could have had as a high school student. We want to congratulate Thank you. you. We want to congratulate your classmates. So this little parade is going to kick off uh, probably in about 15 minutes or so. They're going to make a few laps around the school. They're handing out cookies. They get shirts and uh, just a really great way to celebrate celebrate these kids that put in so much hard work, these young adults that put in so much hard work. And uh, yeah, don't necessarily get the graduation ceremony, but this is pretty much the next best thing. I think being on TV, I'll send it back to you.